We know he rose from the dead. We know that Jesus Christ is alive. What occupies him? If before he died, he was praying. Since he always lives to make intercession. is living to pray. Now, if our Savior is living, is alive to pray for us, you should understand there is something in a prayer that most of us don't understand. But guess what? The plans of God for your life cannot manifest without prayer. Next verse. Most of us, we stop on verse 11. The next verse said, Then you will call upon me and go and pray and I will listen to you. 13. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. 14. Then he started talking, I will be found by you and I will bring you back from captivity. See, the plans of God to be executed, the project God has for you, the future he has for you, can come to manifest only if you pray and pray seriously. Can I hear believing amen here? Amen. Now, it's one thing. Tonight you shout, Happy New Year! I've told you, there is never a Happy New Year unless there is a Happy New You. No Happy New Year unless there is a Happy New You. If you remain the same, Praying the same. At the end of the year, you will remember me. You see, the plans of God can only come to pass in your life when you do what? Pray. Let me give you an example. In Acts chapter 12, verse 1, the Bible says, now, about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some of the church. Harassment must stop. Why they should we harass you spiritually? Verse 2. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. A man of God anointed. One of the three pillars of the early church is destroyed by a wicked man how was that possible the church did not pray but when you don't pray you allow the enemy to do something you give him boldness to do more evil against you <laughs> do you know that here on earth there are people even the devil said to his people don't go close because he knows that when I, you go and trouble them, you go and attack them, you provoke more problems for us, for their kingdom. They know that. Now, what he did? Verse 3. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now, it was during the days of our living bread, verse 4. You love this. So when he had arrested him, he put him in the prison. Deliver him to four squad of soldiers to keep him intending to bring him before the people after Passover 5. Oh my God. Peter was therefore kept away. But, you see the difference? Constant prayers was offered to God for him. This is intercession. By the church. The church said, hey, they've killed James. We have to pray. Peter is already arrested. What saved Peter? Prayer. God sent an angel, delivered him from prison, took Peter out of the prison. The man was freed. Do you know the end of the story? That King Herod died. The angels him. He died. 
You see what prayer can do? Prayer will bring deliverance to us. And the prayer will cause heaven to deal with the enemies. Can I hear amen? May God set you free this year from any form of bondages. May God fight your enemies. The road arising to harass you. May God visit him by fire. I say may God visit him by fire. I say may God visit him by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see what prayer is? Let me say three things. This was one. Prayer you can see allow God to intervene. And you know what a miracle is? Miracle is simply a divine intervention. If you want to see miracles, you want to see wonders in your life, pray. One man called Elijah prayed. Rain could not come down for three years. One man. He prayed again. Rain came. And Bible said, Elijah was a man of the same nature like us. You see, I, I used to pray. Where is the God of Elijah? You know, because you read it, you say, God of Elijah. Mm. God has not changed. God of Elijah is the God of Abraham, is the God of Isaac, is the God of Moses. But the question is, is where are the Elijahs of God? Where are the Elijahs? People can pray. I think a few weeks back, I said to my good people, the young people here, I said, phone. Phone has become an idol. We give our phone more attention, more time than God. If your phone takes more time than the time you give to God for prayer and meditation on his word, then who is controlling you? Who is your God? I want to tell you three things about the prayer. Don't forget this the whole year. One, prayer provokes divine intervention. It brings God. It allows God to intervene, interfere in our matters. Number two, did you notice in the New Testament I don't want to use the Old Testament because it will take me long to explain to you this in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, the only thing that we are commanded to do always, constantly, every day is to pray. How many of you remember that? Can I hear me? First Thessalonians chapter 5, 17 Pray without If you don't realize that there is something in a prayer, when you read that, think very well. Go and meditate on that. Pray without ceasing. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Bible said, pray always. Pray always. Pray always with all prayer and supplication. Pray always. And you know that chapter is a spiritual warfare chapter. All the things you can do in spiritual warfare, if you don't pray, you cannot win. Full stop. The Bible says, take the shield of faith. Do this. All those things, they only function if you can pray. The Bible says, pray always. The other says, Paul says, pray without ceasing. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. The Lord Jesus says, Men out to pray and not lose heart. Men always ought to pray and not lose heart. In other words, prayer is something that must be done all the time, it's a matter of priority. Are you with me? Now, from the story the Lord is talking there to what Apostle Paul 
he said to the church pray without ceasing pray always Jesus Christ is telling the story is God in the flesh can you imagine the weight of that he said men they must do what pray always and not lose heart not get discouraged pray always tell your neighbor pray always there is no shortcut to it please help me tell your neighbor there is no shortcut to prayer prayer must be made if you want your life to amount to anything in this life spiritually and physically pray One, prayer cause God to intervene, to interfere here. Two, when you see that the prayer is recommended as the thing you must do always, you must pay attention. Our Lord Jesus Christ prayed. He prayed. He fasted, he started his ministry in prayer. He ended it in prayer. When you want to choose the 12 men, he goes, he pray all night. We don't pray like that. You want to take a decision and choose a friend or business partner. You just say, ah, this guy could look good. Tomorrow we have problems. Because we don't pray. Are you following me? If you understand, lift your hand. Let me see. Prayer. Prayer. Let me tell you the third thing and the last one. Why prayer is so strategic why prayer is so important see if you want to see the value of prayer look at the life of our Lord Jesus Christ as I was saying here now when he was on earth here here on earth he was praying all the time how many of you understand that he was praying how all the time now he died before he died he said it is finished you are saying my food is to do the work of my father and finish Fini he said it's finished finish but notice something notice something Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 speaking about Jesus my brothers and sisters, take note of this. Please read. I wish we had the whole week on this verse. Therefore, he is also able to do what? How? To the uttermost those who come to God through him. Ah, This one. Well, it's done it. But I was saying, he's talking about Jesus as a high priest. He's able to save to the uttermost complete salvation. That includes forgiveness of sins, blessings, healing, deliverance, prosperity, everything. That complete salvation is able to give to us. As who come to God through him, since, watch carefully there, he always lives to do what? For them. We know he rose from the dead. We know that Jesus Christ is alive. Question, is alive, what is doing now? What occupies him? If before he died, he was praying, now, from the dead at the right hand of the father is praying not sometimes since he always shout always lives to make intercession is living to pray how I wish you get this 
Now, if our Savior is living, is alive to pray for us, you should understand there is something in the prayer that most of us don't understand. And the, because he's praying like that, that's why he's able when we call on him. When we go to God, he's able to save us. He's able to deliver us. Can I say this to those who are saving God? <laughs> your ministry, your service to God is empty if you cannot pray. I've been preaching this gospel for 30 years. This past year. From place to place. I can tell you what I'm saying. If you can not pray, you are joking. Cannot do some anything that lasts spiritually in the kingdom of God without prayer. Prayer is important, very important. That's why Jesus lives to pray. Hebrews chapter 9. I believe it should be around 20, 24. Give me that. I'll check. Aha. Uh -huh. Bible says this. For Christ has not entered the holy places made with the hands, which are copies eh, of the truth. But he entered into heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God for who? He appears in the presence of God for us. Romans chapter 8. Verse 34. Romans chapter 8. Verse 34. Who is who? Condemned. It is Christ who died. It is who died? Furthermore. Is also reason. Who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us. Everything I'm saying here, these three things, is to show you that prayer is very vital. Prayer is very important. This is why you don't have it on record in the gospel that Jesus sat his disciples, he's teaching them, said, No, this is how you, you preach the gospel, this is how you this is how you, 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 you teach the word. No, but we know he taught them how to pray. God cannot answer prayers that are not prayed. When you are talking that God answer prayers, unless you pray, he will not answer them. Unless you do what? Unless you pray, he cannot answer them. This year, you and I, we must do what? Pray. This modern world has brought a lot of technology and things. There is no technology that replaces prayer. No technology. No technology that replaces what? Prayer. When you pray, he will answer the prayer. And peace always and in every way will become your portion this year. Can I hear good amen?